What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode, it's all about the animals. And I'm not talking about the people we met at the San Diego meetup. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Good morning, everybody. Lori and I are off to the zoo today, but we're not recording anything, so don't tell her that I have the camera. We've recorded before. So. We've recorded before, so we're not gonna show too much, just a tiny little bit, and then we're heading off to our San Diego meetup, so yeah. we or might show a little bit of that. Or if there's an update and there's zoo, something new or something like that, then we record that. Yeah, I thought they're supposed to be baby hippos. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we'll find out and let you guys know. Can they make beer maps? <laughs> Our first activity is the bus ride. The bus tour. The bus tour. <laughs> Okay, you want to see a total waste of an exhibit? This animal is called an eye eye. It literally says on the sign that they don't come out in the day. They're nocturnal. It's daytime. I'm complaining and let's keep going. <laughs> because uh, she is one of the smallest species of 20 so species of Tenrex. This is the smallest one. Hedgehogs, because they do look so similar to hedgehogs. And then you want one? Is the type of animal. And I, as I said, there are over 20 species. Yeah, but that's looking like one of the That was Rady Falls. It's the largest man-made waterfall in San Diego. Fun fact. Who knew? Well, we knew because they told us. It could be more. Oh, those are cool. Where are we going now, Lori? To what the are... baby giraffe. Whoop, whoop. No, 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 no. That's why On the other here. side of the road, bro. That's why this is here. Just stay I don't know, maybe they don't lift their legs up. That's, so that's, that's your five days, that's your few weeks. They must be really quick because they don't go anywhere. They're pretty good size. I feel free to look at them. That's what he was looking at. He looks at her coming out. That's what I told you to say. Oh. <laughs> Did you see those stick insects? Now I can never go to Australia. 
just because of that. The, those things will wind up in our RV. Because they're everywhere. Well, we're everywhere. not taking our RV there. <laughs> well, but we're going to be renting one, so I'm out. Okay, Lorena, I think we've got enough walking. I think we should sky far. I have my, all my circles are ready, so let's take the tram. What I want you guys to do is just pretend this is a drone shot over the San Diego Zoo. That's how we'll do this. And that's it. The Sky Fari is done. Come on, somebody lick the window. <laughs> Come on, Lori, do it. No. Lori's buddy right here. Oh, they're looking the same. That's so cute. Oma! Oma, you look at that. All right, Lori, it's been a great day, but have we had enough? I can never have enough of seeing animals. I love them, but there's more stuff to do. Yeah, there's more stuff to do. But uh, they did say that the, we could ride a train somewhere outside. Can we see if we can ride the train? I'm not sure we can ride it, but we can check it out. Let's check it out at least. I like trains. Are you ready? For the train. I'm ready. We just missed it, so now we're the first ones. There we go. <laughs> By looking at the track, it's not a very big train. No. <laughs> so I don't know if we can handle this, Lori. This is not what I was expecting. You expected more like Disney size train? This is like a train, actual train. This is not a train. We decided to go all the way to the back of the bus. Oh, we're not gonna sit in the same seat? Well, you think it's that we're that be, fat? Yeah, it's you're be right. Too tight. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Woohoo! This, this like, thing's gonna roll. This is like kid size seats. Yeah. Like for an adult and a small kid. Well, adult? Small kid. I mean, size small, not oh, Okay, mentally? I didn't want to say that about this. <laughs> She's so mean. Definitely not the fastest train I've ever been on, but it's kind of fun. I'll admit, it was a little bit lame, but I've spent $3 on worse stuff. That is true. We spent seven bucks on an ice cream the other day. 
a tiny ice cream. It's just one little scoop of ice cream, seven dollars. And we just spent six dollars for a joy that will last us a lifetime. I think it was seven dollars for fifty each, but now we can say, "Check, we've done it. We don't have to do it again." But <laughs> you need to do it. While we were on the train, we saw this art studio, so we're gonna go check it out. Zoo's done, did the train, the art, little art walk studio thing was kind of cool, but now it's time to head into Old Town, meet some of our San Diego peeps. Yes, I'm so, excited about it. Yes, that'll be fun. We have been so antisocial lately that it's going to feel nice to talk to other people. <laughs> Going for a quick walk through the campground here before we head up to the casino. This is the Sweetwater Summit Regional Park campground. Big spaces. Very wide spaces with a lot of privacy and we didn't realize how big the campground is. Yeah, and we're heading up to see our friends Scott and Tina before we head out this morning. And uh, didn't realize that this place was this big. Rolling out of Sweetwater Summit Regional Park. Yes. Quick couple of overnights here. Tell you what, beautiful park. That was quite a surprise. I wanted to tell us about it was Scott and Tina. And I mean, they told us it's a nice park. Most people don't know about it. There's always occupancy here. And we found two nights in a holiday weekend that was <coughs> rare. So it was actually pretty good. But we were happily surprised a nice campground. A lot of trails, bicycle trails and running trails, hiking trails, so that was cool. Yeah, very handy to San Diego. We used it really as a spot to uh, uh, hang out with our viewers there and do the meetup in Old Town and go fun. to the zoo, that's it. Yeah, but it was very fun to meet up yep. by the way. Now we're gonna do a little bit of flat topping. We're gonna head up to Casino Palma just up the road near Pawe Escondido area. And we're gonna stay there for a few nights, do the animal park. Safari park. The safari park. And then make our way up the coast and eventually into the Yosemite Sequoia National Park area. So. I've never been there myself. Either. Should be cool. to roll out of Casino Palma. We stayed for three nights. Actually a great stay. It has been like top reviews on our free stay somewhere. I think this is amazing. We got free food. Yeah. And free plane. They, you have to sign up for a player's card or you're supposed to. They didn't really double check us. They did, you check in with security. Then you go in and uh, and they tell you that you must get a card, but it was super busy, so we put it off till the next day. We went in because we said we would. We got a card. They give you ten dollars each gambling money and a free buffet up to twenty five bucks. So it was actually pretty cool. And then I wound up spending, I think, another thirty dollars total. How about or, that? Or thirty five bucks total. So it really cost us thirty five dollars for three nights of dry camping including a pretty nice buffet for each of us. Yes, definitely, and they have good food, actually. Yeah, if and any of you carnivores were here in the last couple of days and wondered why they were running out of... Uh, or just sides. Sides, <laughs> we were eating them all. And it's around orange groves. So actually, all of this are oranges around. So it's pretty cool. I feel like getting out of the RV and just grabbing a few oranges for me and then keep going. Yep. <laughs> but nice, very quiet. Um, 
no, even, not not noisy. Even when it was a holiday week and a lot of people here, and it was quiet. Yeah, and it is uh, very very handy to the San Diego Safari, Safari Park if you want to go there. Call it super handy. But well, it's it was twenty a, minutes, okay, thirty minutes. Right. Uh, we didn't film anything from the San Diego Animal Park because Lorena's co-star was in a shitty mood, so I didn't feel like picking up a camera. Oh my God. What can you do? I took, we have those days. I took a few shots, though. You did take a few shots? Yeah. All right, well, we can share. If, if you would share those with me, I, I can share them with everyone else. Grab those oranges on the floor. Nobody's going to miss them. Nobody's going to miss those oranges, but you can't do it, Lori. Oh, We've got people behind us. We've got to go. That's a little bit of a drop out of there. Woo! A little bit of swaying and stuff, rocking and rolling. But we are heading over to the coast. We're going to drive up the Pacific Coast Highway a little bit and actually Interstate 5. And then uh, wind up in the San Juan Capistrano area. So enjoy the drive after the animal park stuff. Ronald Casper Wilderness Park just outside of San Juan Capistrano. They have a couple different campgrounds. They have a Live Oak campground and they have Ortega Flats. We're staying at Ortega Flats. We just found out they don't allow pets, even they if they don't pets. leave the RV. They don't like to see the pets. They don't. They're one of these campgrounds. Like, no, your cat. People don't want to see it. It's like, <laughs> wow, come yeah. on. We said he won't go outside. And they're like, okay, we'll let it slide this time, but people don't want to see it. It's like, that's just ridiculous. People are going to be upset if they see a cat in your at your window. So, so far, not a great greeting. Hopefully, the states. She was better. as nice as she could be for what happened, but it was okay. We had been to San Diego Zoo before, so I kind of went through that pretty quick. Actually, yeah. we weren't going to shoot at all, and yeah, so it's actually a thing. lot. Paul is like, oh, he's like, I don't have that much like footage for this <laughs> video. He's like, you do. You're not supposed to record anything. And there was one day that because we have shown before, we're just going to enjoy ourselves, and that's it. But he just can't help himself. I just can't help myself. You get so used to shooting video that it's just something that you do. You just always happen to have a camera with you. You always happen to be shooting something until something really important happens and then I don't have my camera. But we had a great time with our animals in San Diego. And yes, this time I am talking about the folks we met at our San Diego meetup. They were awesome. Everybody was so nice. And the cool thing is that a lot of these people we actually have met before yep. in Courtside and they actually start talking to each other because they have met before too. So that was kind of cool. And we've said that and, a few times, but yeah. that's one thing about the community we love is that we see people in our community that are getting to know each other. And that's mm -hmm. really cool because you never know when yes. you might see them on the road or need help when you're on the road and those people are there for you. So that's really, really Really cool. And then we end up in outs or I should say outside of San Juan Capistrano at uh, Ronald Casper's Wilderness Park and we'll talk about that in the next episode. But this is where we're gonna end this one. So if this is your first time here it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us and that means they have to. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and it would be equally as cool if you liked the video and we'll see you again in the next one. Awesome. Bye guys. Bye now. Look how beautiful. Let me go away so yep. you can see the river. It's sunset, so you can barely see like the Some show more coming on this in a future episode. So <laughs> hit that subscribe button.